Microsoft did it. They created the ultimate tablet. If you're like me, you have a love-hate relationship with traditional tablets. You love them because they're so thin and portable and have a great battery life, but what happens if you actually want to get real work done? Something as simple as printing. With most tablets, it's gonna be a frustrating experience, but not with Surface. So let me tell you why I think Microsoft has created the ultimate tablet. So this is a big one for me. Surface tablets can run full desktop apps. On Surface tablets, you don't get the mobile version of an app, which is very beautiful and it's very nicely laid out, but the functionality is limited. iOS and Android apps are designed to be used with your finger. So the unfortunate side effect is that these apps tend to be somewhat limited. In my experience of working out in the field, you don't want the mobile version. You want the full featured version, which lets you use all the features and lets you do everything you need to do on the go. Another one of my favorite features is that you get a full desktop web browser. Now, some manufacturers out there like to say that they've included a desktop class web browser, but let me tell you, it's not. There is nothing like the real thing. If you want a desktop class web browser, just use a desktop web browser. This is the magic and partly why I think the Surface tablets are the ultimate tablet, because you get an unencumbered computing experience. Now, don't get me wrong, mobile versions are great if you're on a smartphone, but when you're working on a tablet with a much larger screen, you want all the features so you can be productive. Another big reason why I think that Surface tablets are so great is how versatile they are in terms of connectivity. Connectivity has got to be one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to traditional tablets. They're very limited when it comes to peripherals and accessories that you can connect to them. Tablets have been on the market for quite some time and Apple has made a push to promote iPads, especially their iPad Pro line, as potential laptop replacements by adding things like mouse functionality. But let me tell you, the functionality is still does not come close to the connectivity of a Surface tablet. A Surface tablet, is basically a normal computer that is packaged in the space of a tablet. This is the secret sauce because you get the best of both worlds. You get a tablet that's beautifully designed and you also get a full featured computer in case you wanna connect all those usual items of your desktop setup. Another big one for me is printing. So many times I've said to myself, let me just grab my tablet cause I'm just gonna pop out real quick and you know, just to take care of something. But God forbid you need to print something or make some tweaks to your print job. Now, yes, I know, little by little, we're going to a paperless society, but we're not quite there yet. From time to time, you still need to print, and that has got to be another pain point for me with traditional tablets. Technically, they can print, but the functionality of the print driver in iOS and Android, it's very limited. If you're trying to do anything that is complicated, such as select the print tray, or if you wanna do double-sided printing, or any of those other normal options that you would see on, your, on a desktop driver, there's a good chance they're probably not gonna be there. I, now I can understand some folks, you know, this isn't a big deal, but for me, it's a big one. If you're a business person, you know you're gonna to have to do a print from time to time. Most modern tablets are very capable devices that are able to do so much, but in some areas like printing, it's a no-go. My frustrations with printing eventually helped me find my way to a Surface tablet. Next is security. With iOS and Android, security patches and updates are few and far between. I would say in this category, Android is probably the worst offender. In my experience, it's very typical for a tablet manufacturer to release an Android tablet and throughout its support lifecycle, only update the tablet a few times. Now, over onto the Windows side, every Tuesday you're gonna get an update with new security patches, and every quarter, if you're on Windows 11, or biannually if you're on Windows 10, you get major feature updates. If security's a concern for you, then Surface tablets are the best option. One of the challenges that I've noticed with Surface tablets is that the battery life isn't great, and this is mostly because of the X64 architecture. It's much more intensive than other architectures like ARM, 
And we are seeing a trend away from x64 with the Microsoft Surface Pro X. With the move to ARM processors, there is an opportunity to deliver a much better battery life and to keep down the heat. So on this point, traditional tablets have Surface tablets beat. But for me, it's worth the inconvenience in exchange for a much more versatile tablet. So one thing to keep in mind, if you're gonna go with Surface, you're gonna wanna be closer to an outlet. Along with staying close to an outlet, here are a few other mitigating suggestions I'd like to make. Like for example, if you're gonna use the Surface tablet on a couch, just make sure to get this, uh, what's called a lap desk. This makes a huge difference as the kickstand can dig into your lap and make it uncomfortable to use. Another important mitigating factor is how the touch experience is not as good on, as on a traditional tablet. But what I've noticed is this can be mitigated with the use of a Surface Pen. This also keeps you well equipped in case you want to do some digital art or if you just want to do a freehand design or if you're uh, commenting on a document or a PDF. So to sum it up, there are some negatives, but the good outweighs the bad because of all the added functionality and connectivity that you get from a Surface tablet. Now let's not forget that you get all this in a tablet package. But like anything in life, there's always compromises, but with Surface, you're getting so much more. So these are my top reasons why I think that Microsoft has created the ultimate tablet. I'm so grateful that Microsoft made the decision to make this product because I've always wanted to do everything on a tablet. And I feel that the Microsoft Surface line has delivered that. Agree? Disagree? Comment below. Let's keep the conversation going. Finally, if you like this video, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. That really makes a huge difference on our channel. From Super Anderson Tech, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.